I get to a point where I love being the facilitator. So if I can just step back and watch them take over their learning, then I feel like I accomplished a goal. My name is Shelly White. I am in special education and I am teaching our virtual foundations program. All right, Jaden and Justin, are you ready to do some estimation? Yes. Yes. It started when we had the need to go virtual with the pandemic and a lot of the distractions and a lot of the obstacles that got in the way of learning were now eliminated and this awesome abundance of learning was happening. What do you think, Justin? 35. I think 35 will in there. What do you think, Jaden? 29 ducks. I have been teaching over 26 years and I became a learning support teacher. All right, and the big drum roll. I'm going to do it at home. Oh, we got a we got a winner there. Look at that. 29 thumbs up out there to Jaden. All right, let's take a look what's next. That gave me a chance to really hone in on like individual students and see how can I meet you and how can I get you where you need to be. I'm going to drop in the chat a link for us. Say we're going to go out and visit the Eiffel Tower. I ended up having an accident. So I became paralyzed and I'm now in a powered wheelchair. So this also brought a different lens into my world as an educator, because when you talk about somebody that maybe doesn't understand how to read well or gets frustrated with math, all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I get it because things were now harder for me. So I was not able to do the things I was able to do before without a lot of help. So I think that opened up another path for me and I was able to, you know, approach kids in a different way. So no, you don't need to do one more problem. Sometimes you just need to have a break. Sometimes I need to go at it as an educator a different way to meet your needs. So that helped me significantly along the way. You can look under the Eiffel Tower and look straight up in it. I don't know if this is the thing. I just call it this way. Um, I just call it the Eiffel Tower legs and the Eiffel Tower legs um, have like every restaurant attached to it. I love your creativity on I don't know what to call that. So I'm just gonna call it the Eiffel Tower legs. Technology is a way that you can overcome something too, if you have a learning need. I think a big part of this is teaching them to advocate for themselves. So if you're stuck, you just let me know. Send me a message through Teams or let me know what can I help you with. So I try to provide the language so that they're able to use that going forward. Take your bow. That was a good job. Giving them a problem to solve, giving them a way, a voice and choice to do the assignment has just been such a, a rewarding experience to see what children will create when you let them, when you let them lead. The value in it is just phenomenal.